All right, hello and welcome to another Forged Alliance. This one, we've got Hazanob or Hazanub rather versus Swackle. Uh, Swackle clocking in around uh, 250 uh, rank ratings above Hazanub. And I'm just going off replay length. This shouldn't be a walkover. Hazanub definitely got the better faction for this type of map with the huge amount of water and it being a relatively small map doesn't give UAF the uh, quite the chance to turtle up to T2 where it uh, is no longer at a disadvantage over water but certainly at T1 UAF suck. So let's take a little look at Swackle. He is uh, got the land fac, 2p gen four mechs and first ng out to the hydro meanwhile haza similar start 2p gen fac and then a mistake slight misclick with his acu uh, recovers quickly gets uh, one mechs starts work on the second and just to give you an idea how much uh, that loses you see swackles on his third mechs haza yeah, so he's basically lost about one mech's worth of build time on the ACU, which in the grand scheme of things doesn't sound much, but in the opening 60, 80 seconds, that's pretty huge. He sends his first, uh, sorry, his uh, first two engines out to the Hydro, his third to reclaim the uh, rock, and he's got his rally points set out for his engineers. Uh, Swackle, meanwhile, his next plan after the uh, Hydro is timed well to uh, go for the harbour meanwhile his engine is going for some more power and then air to just give an idea on swackle houses eco holding up for this well as you can see sucking that rock just getting that hydro in and these pgens before the air fac looks like it's going to make this work uh, meanwhile if we come over to haza you see he's just about to run out of mass and he's done it so he's not stalled by much but enough to make um yeah and this engineer okay the manual reclaim gets him out of jail here okay just about and the other engineer up here so clearly both of these players whoops both of these players have uh known this whole time uh favorite map here the eye of the storm both of them have got their build order down so let's see who's going to draw first blood uh swackle acu heading towards the middle uh haza looking to send floaty rt across followed by an engine and another rt and he's starting to send bombers um what's the first one uh, we've got a defensive interceptor out the gate for swackle first so here comes the uh, scout let's see what he can see let's see if swackle when he actually picks it up so ah it's the scout that gets the scout and he knows to ignore he knows there's probably a bomber coming behind that he sends another scout out to try and help track this dude down and the intercept actually loses uh, sight and I think he will have seen that. I think he'll have been aware that one's coming. Meanwhile, Haza sends his inti out to go after Swackles and here comes first bomber and it's a direct connect with the initial expanding engineer out to the south for Swackles. So that was a good pickup. Remember an engineer out here early on is worth much more than an NG up here. Arguably one NG here is worth at least two over here where it's near the factory. And got an air engagement here. This is actually going to go Haza's way despite it being the opposite end of the map. This is quite important. Swackle picks up the initial floating RT. I assume that RT was parked there, hoping for an engineer to come down. At least now, uh, Arza will know exactly where Swackle's ACU is. This bomber from Swackle is basically dead. If, uh, if Arza scouts this, it's dead. But in my opinion, okay, he's got uh, his, uh, triple A there. Fair enough. 
if you got air dom this early on you ideally want to swarm your opponent until you force them to put one of these rail guns down at that point okay uh has a hoping to pinch the mass there doesn't quite achieve it has his uh into his over swackles acu it's basically saying hey i know you're here dude um and we've got a sub here of course the uef sub can uh, surface and then basically fires with what to me looks like a p1 p uh pd defense you know the t1 pds um not quite the rate of fire but otherwise looks the same and swackle gets a good pickup with his uh much weaker air force meanwhile Hazard takes a look over here don't want to park too long over that rail gun loses one he's gonna lose more this is not where you want to park loses two loses three and possibly four that was an expensive visit lost basically half of his air force and uh Meanwhile, Swackle free to roam over here. Basically gets two free pickups on the uh, bombers here. This was a huge mistake by Hazo, in my opinion. Lost half his air force for nothing and gives up the uh, two bombers for free. Swackle able to do ten times more with five times less. Uh, that's the kind of thing that separates these two guys. Meanwhile, Hazo coming down here looking to... This could be a decent pickup. Uh, Swackle's invested a fair amount. He's got five engines down here and a factory. Um, basically, he needs to... Yeah. <laughs> what a mistake that was. What a mistake that was. That's just more mass for uh, Hazard at this point, And he's basically here unopposed. Meanwhile, Swackle, having captured the middle, leaves it completely undefended. He's not expecting to hang on to that for any length of time. He's now heading up north. Meanwhile, we've got RT units here. This one with two kills. Um, yeah, that was a decent pickup. This could have been worse for Swackle if he'd have, if he'd have taken out that engine here. This uh, T1 Navy rush by Swackle, I understand why. Um, you're dealing with someone on a small map who can send floaty units across. The only real way to defend early on is frigate spam and or um, bomber bombers spam. And with the other guy's going to know that. He knows he's up against UEF. I assume... His play is going to be RT units and go air. Um, and that leaves Navy, right? Anything else? And the thing, Swackle making, I'm really, really impressed with how Swackle's using what limited air he's got. Hazard's trying to keep all his air units together, but it basically is, he can't be everywhere on the map at once with his air unit. And Swackle just able to pick stuff off with that bomber. I'm sure that was a kill. Don't know why it didn't register for the bomber as a kill, but he certainly took out a radar there. I'm sure of it. Meanwhile, he takes him out and his... Yeah. This is where not having subs will cost you if the other guy goes subs. This one uh, sub's going to take out all of these three unless Swackle gets a sub there quick, and it doesn't actually look like he's got one. So, yeah. You want to stick on with the uh, frigates here i don't know whether he just forgot to micro or whether he feared these were backing into a wave of subs but you can guarantee next ships out are going to be subs he needs that don't say he's upgrading to t2 looks like he's thinking about it he's getting the uh, ngs ready and again just a solitary unit snuck through. Two kills already. And this tank beat that tank. Well, it's damaged. And he's got the scout. And with this tank firing on that mechs, arguably, even if they were even Stevens, this one gets the first shot off. Manages to save a mechs. And yeah, as we expected, Hazard takes 
own of the bottom right he's now going to have known if not already that the central line's completely undefended and i'm surprised he's not tried to deal with that sooner um one bomber or you know once he one bomber in there he already knows he's got air dom he's just got to use it right he's he's basically got air dom and not done anything with it and let Swackle sort of, you know, give a distraction over here, then attack here, and then as the Air Force comes around, do something down here. This here. Okay, he does win in the end, but I don't think he had to lose as much as he did there. I like this. Don't need to send a bunch down. Just one unit to deal with. Send the rest up. That's, that's, you know, all good players do that. Even mid-rated players don't do that. Mid-rated players just highlight this lot. Send it down. A decent player. No, no need. Just send one unit. Yeah, it's going to take longer, but can put the pressure on here sooner that way. And yeah, look at that. I like that. Single engineer, attack move across, lazy way to, if nothing else just uh reclaim the mexes off the enemy um swackle now looking dominant in the navy that's that's the issue um he let's have a look at map control i was gonna say 50 50 but it ain't um looks like has a slightly more dominant round the edge i'd say it's a 60 40 split round the edge and while it was going to be 50-50 with these mechs, with Haza now capturing center, so he's uh, given up on the attack move. He's just going for a clean cap, which is nice. Look how quick it captures, nice and quick. Um, this is not going to go um, Swackle's way. I would seriously consider redirecting this uh, transport to deal with this NG. Instead, he's going to move over here. Okay, it's two mechs and a radar and arguably a third too much engineers coming over here with not much to do he desperately needs some some more tank units here arguably these can quickly throw up a pd or even a factory but got to get on with it and has as we expected captures all four in comes the t1 bomber a day late come on use your air force man come on you now there's the difference are oh, they he's finally reacting there we go manages to hold on to all four mechs but loses the ng has done a good job at applying the pressure up here but swackle's going to counter attack and do the same on the opposite side and same again although he doesn't send one unit off he actually sends a bunch Maybe he hadn't seen what's there for a while, so sends a couple more with the scout. And here we are, 13 minutes in. So far, it's anyone's game. Um, that's so now sending three frigates in, and now it's the now it's Swackle's turn to get the free kills with the subs and it actually sails right on by these have got to keep moving or if they oh wow as a noob gets a cruiser in a t2 cruiser that was fast the problem is here you've got no torpedo defense and you've got three subs right next to you it's absolutely crucial that he gets uh subs out to guard or a t2 destroyer because otherwise Swackle's going to kill this for free and he's realised the problem that he's got no defence and he's rushing in with his five subs. Yeah, you need to get subs out there yesterday. And uh, Haza realises the threat and brings his navy all the way in. Uh, perhaps a top launcher. Oh, he does have one. You need to bring that right in. Look at this. Swackle able to move in with virtually nothing. 
<laughs> the cruiser just deals with it effortlessly. Lovely. Don't park your own planes there. Oh, too late. Yeah, this this here, uh, this was a mistake. And is he still ignoring it? Come on, it's time for subs now. Still looks like he's on frigates. And uh, please tell me you're working on a destroyer. Otherwise, this whole thing is going to be for nothing. Ah, there is a T2 destroyer. Okay. And this is able to pick him off at range. Very nice use. Uh, Swackle realizes the threat and withdraws. He's going to have to counter with T2, which he's already done. And there's the first T2 unit for Swackle. The UAF destroyer. Uh, is this a shield boat or a sub boat? I can't quite tell based on the uh, holograph unit, but either would be a good choice at this stage. Um, I'd like to see a shield boat over that to mitigate with good positioning i'm sure he could kill this for free don't send your units up one at a time what are you doing as a noob what are you doing you've just lost your only defense you haven't did you manage to kill one unit with it he sinks down he he got away by the skin of his teeth. That that I, I'm not exactly sure what he's doing, but has a noob with the uh, navy there, and indeed it was a shield boat, and it's rolling in. Swackle needs to pull his units back and move this shield forward because right now he's losing stuff that he doesn't need to be losing. Uh, this uh, cruiser at range. Let's have a look around the edge. Um, Swackle just able to keep the pressure on with these annoying little drops. This is the kind of thing that gets me overwhelmed when I used to play. It's like I'm fighting here, here and here. My hands are full. And then in comes a little drop. And it's just that three or four APM too much that I just can't deal with. Uh has a noob rightly concerned with the shield uh, bow. And if... Swackle gets away with... Oh, he doesn't with that shield belt. I was going to say, that would be huge because when that shield comes back on, even though the ship's almost dead, it'll still provide all the hit points. He needs to knock these two ships out. That's for sure. And there's one of them. He's actually got two destroyers out. That's important because he's basically using these as uh, killer subs, which uh, once that destroyer's gone for Swackle... Which is going to be any moment. Haz is going to have complete dom in the sea. And in comes one more destroyer for Swackle. But it may be just a little too late. This torpedo bomber is huge. Right now that torpedo bomber is huge. And yeah he rightly uh, anticipates that. You need to get rid of this kind of stuff. This tank is killing stuff for free. And there it goes. Excellent. And the whole time, battle's going down on all flanks. Hazanoob uh, needs to get on with rebuilding again. He's uh, low on APM. and But at this rate, although the battle's sort of 50-50, you see Swackle, he doesn't give up. He, like, he loses stuff and he goes back and gets it. Hazar looks task-saturated and the upshot is going to be that... Hazard's going to run out of eco to afford this naval battle. He needs to make better use of his units. He's giving... He's getting out of position too much. And he needs to get engineers in here. He needs this reclaim urgently so he can replenish his uh, submarine force. He desperately needs it. He's just about able to stop the breakthrough from here. But it's... Uh, not by much, right? Do you know, one T2 unit here, like an Ilshiver, would be gold right now. And he's just about able to stop that first attack from reaching the base, but it leaves the door wide open for uh, 
Swackle to pick stuff off. I'm not a fan of uh, what Hazanoob's doing here with this. It, it is just chucking stuff away right now, and Swackle's navy is getting stronger. If you're going to attack, do it as a group. Don't let him pick you off. I like this uh, focused attack. That's cool. Manages uh, to kill a uh, frigate there for, for, for free. Oh, loses one in the end, but I think that went pretty well for Haza. These torpedoes uh, uh, are starting to build up. This cruiser comes in at the nick of time. Does lose a destroyer, but they're almost dead anyway. This cruiser now able to get some kills for free. Excellent. Yeah, these cruisers parked off in the right place is going to prevent Swackle from expanding too much. But he's got to keep him alive. He's got to not forget about his other stuff. But look at this. Swackle moving him in multiple engineers. Hazza hasn't, as best I can tell, sent... Oh, he's sending him in now, but really late. This delay is going to allow Swackle to quickly reinforce his navy with more expensive units and just a minute or two i'm gonna guess has a noob yeah he's got no mass that this should have happened five minutes ago this battle took place i don't know why but right now swackle's gonna bulldoze it if if has a noob can't get out of this mess right now swackle's gonna bulldoze his way in cruiser gets some nice shots in He has absolutely got to make something happen here. The focus fire seems to be on the t -Do destroyer. You've got to pick one off and then go for the other. Looks like Cruz is getting some pot shots in as well. And in comes the shield boat. You've got to pick this destroyer. You've got to go for the destroyers. You've even if you kill 90% of the destroyer and then kill 90% of another one, they're still putting out 100% of the damage until you finish it off. This could be the end here. And looks like Haza calls it and he quits. Good game. Good game. Um, I think literally it was a couple of drops here and there that got Haza Noob overwhelmed with the APM. And then the severe delay in getting this reclaim. If he'd have got in there three, four minutes ago, he'd have had the eco to repel this battle. If the battle had have taken place, he'd have won it and he'd have had even more eco. The game would have been very different. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.